The human papillomavirus is a common sexually transmitted infection that has a silent harbinger of several types of cancers, including cervical cancer. Cervical cancer is second most common cancer among women aged 15 to 49 years. Nigeria contributes an estimated 12,075 new cases of global cervical cancer annually. HPV infection has been identified as a high risk factor implicated in 95% of cervical cancer cases with 12,000 new diagnoses and 8,000 lives claimed each year. It translates to 33 new cervical cancer cases and 22 deaths every day in the country. Dr. Faisal notes that while vaccination is the most potent prevention measure against HPV, women are encouraged to undergo regular screening tests for early detection and treatment. We will mark the national launch of the human papilloma virus vaccine for girls aged 9 to 14 years in Nigeria. This monumental initiative is spearheaded by the Federal Ministry of Health and Social Welfare through the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency with support from NAVDAC, community-based organization, several stakeholders, including our esteemed partners, traditional and religious leaders. He adds that the vaccine was not mandatory and no child would be forced to take it. The introduction of the HPV vaccine is not just a medical advancement. It is a profound leap forward in our mission to protect the health and aspirations of our young girls. It empowers them to lead healthy lives and become the formidable women and mothers of tomorrow. The Director General of NAVDAC, Professor Mojishola Adeye, states that the agency is committed to ensuring the safety, quality and efficacy of the Gardasil vaccine in the country. In line with its mandate to protect public health, NAVDAC is committed to ensuring the safety, quality and efficacy of the Gardasil vaccine. Also speaking, the Deputy Country Representative World Health Organization, Alexandra Chimbaru, says the introduction of the HPV vaccine in Nigeria was a significant milestone. As WHO, we are committed to continue supporting HPV vaccination. Let me just inform you that we have over 24 countries in Africa which are actually using HPV vaccines. We will not register any adverse events which can actually affect this program. On his part, the Chief of Health, UNICEF, Dr. Eduardo Celades emphasizes debunking misinformation, disinformation and rumors surrounding the HPV vaccine in the country. I would like to focus a little bit on the misinformation, disinformation and rumors, because we know that there are already ongoing some rumors. So I would like to highlight four main like facts. So we all together, as Dr. Faisal was saying, we can really debunk these rumors and we can really get the young girls, the, the teachers, the parents, the guardians, to work together towards having a good intake of HPV vaccination starting next year. The introduction of the vaccine was scheduled to kick off in 16 states, Abia, Adamawa, Akwaibom, Bauchi, Bayelsa, Benue, Enugu, the FCT, Jigawa, Kano, Kebi, Lagos, Nasarawa, Ogun, Oshun, and Taraba state, respectively. Thank you.